Ah, a letter from Madame Malkin. Looking for ideas. The organizers of the Witch Witch Fashion Show are holding a contest for the best wizarding clothing shop. And I simply must win the grand prize, a VIP pass to their next fashion show. I am looking for a Hogwarts student to help me get my shop ready for this incredible opportunity. If you are interested, stop by as soon as possible. Yours sincerely, Madam Malkin. Ha! Ah. No, no, no. These just won't do. Hi. Hello, Madam Malkin. I received your note, and I would like to help. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. You are just in time, too. Dremaine Dreadfowl and Jaqueline Lamont will be here any day. Uh, uh. I don't understand. Oh, They are coming to judge the contest. You do know who they are, don't you? Uh-oh. I have no idea. Who are they? Oh. Very famous wizarding fashion designers, which means we will need to pull out all the stops. Everything needs to look fresh, bold, avant-garde. That is French, you know. Uh. Ah, I see. Well, I'm no fashion expert. <laughs> That's quite all right, dear. Leave the fashion to me. I'm already at work on pieces everyone will want in their wardrobes. Mm -hmm. Then, what do you need my help with? Ah, I'm looking for something to draw those judges into my shop. Something to really catch their eye. Ah. Oh, you want a new window display? Mm -hmm. Exactly. With something stunning out there, the judges are sure to fall for the fashion in here. And I'll have the grand prize all sewn up. Mm. Right, mm -hmm. a trip to a fashion show? Ah. My dear, it's not just any fashion show, it's Witch Witch in Paris. Oh, it has been years since I've traveled to the City of Lights, and I simply must win. <laughs> I'd be happy to gather some ideas for your window. Wonderful. And remember, the bigger, the better. Hmm. But where do I start? The only one I know who has any clue about fashion is Cassandra. Mm -hmm. Then I suggest you pay her a visit. Now, off you go. The clock is ticking. <coughs> Hi, Cassandra. Nice plant. Hmm, not quite. I suspect a flesh-eating slug got into it. Anyway, do you want something? Uh, yes, your opinion. Hmm, interesting. I'm listening. Hmm. I need ideas for a window display. You know, something fashionable. Uh, you are asking me about fashion? I had no idea you were interested. I mean, it clearly doesn't show. <sighs> Very funny. It's for Madame Malkin. I'm doing her a favor. Mm-hmm. I see. Most of her customers couldn't afford designer clothing. Huh. But you could focus on accessories. I've seen a gorgeous brooch save a hideous outfit before, so it's possible. Uh, uh. Accessories? Hmm. Jewelry? Handbags? Belts? Hats? Um... I know what accessories are. I just did not think of that. <laughs> of course not. That is why you came to me. Anyway, choker necklaces are all the rage right now. Wow. I see. Ah. Bold accessories. You know, the kind that make a real statement. They're having a moment right now, too. Mm-hmm. Got it. This is helpful. Thanks, Cassandra. <laughs> Speaking of moments, this one is over. Goodbye. Oh, have you seen a bludger around here? <sighs> you lost another one? <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, want to help me practice? Mm -mm. I can't. I need to gather some ideas for Madame Malkin's window display. Mm -hmm. So that's what her letter was about. What have you got so far? Uh... Well, accessories. Wow! Accessories? 
You think anyone's going to notice a teeny tiny accessory in a huge window? Hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hadn't thought of that. Uh, come on, come on, come on! Also, boring. You need drama. Something unexpected and uh? sparkly, perhaps? Like yes, yes, sequence? Yes, 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 yes! No! Think bigger. Hmm. I know! Fireworks! <gasps> Fireworks? In a clothing shop window? Uh. Why not? I bet no one has done it. The judges will be thrilled. Um... Well, she did say the bigger, the better, but... Yes! Now you're talking! I'd recommend silver sparking snakes, exploding whiz poppers, or the classic wildfire whiz bangs. Uh, uh, somebody knows their fireworks. I'll add them all to the list. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> Just the gents I was looking for. Ah! That sounds ominous. <laughs> what? I just have a fashion question. Uh-oh. You are serious? You want to talk to us about fashion? Oh. You've come to the wrong wizards. Uh, we're not exactly right off the dog walks for Paris. Uh. I think you mean catwalks. Mm -hmm. That just proves my point. Mm -mm. Okay, it's a fashion adjacent question. I need ideas for a window display that will attract lots of attention. Hmm. How about dress robes in leopard print? Haha. <laughs> what? I heard some sixth year girls talking about animal prints being big this season. Hmm. Mm hmm. This needs to be bigger than just clothing. A lot bigger. Robin suggested fireworks, and I'm thinking along similar lines, though preferably something a bit less of a fire hazard. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as we've got plenty of rain and wind, it won't be a fire hazard at all. Huh? And how in the name of Merlin would you do that? Oh. With an atmospheric charm, of course. Imagine a window display with its own changing weather. That should make quite the impression. <laughs> right. The weather could change to accompany different seasonal looks. <laughs> I suppose seasonal looks came from the sixth year girls, too? Don't be mean. I'm helping you, remember? <laughs> Sorry. You both have helped me tremendously. Thanks. <laughs> there you are. We've been looking all over for you. <laughs> We've heard about your project from Adam Malkin, and we are here to help. Hi. Brilliant. I only have a few things on my list so far and they are... unexpected. <laughs> well, we have some rather unique ideas of our own. <laughs> you see, Ivy said we should help you with the idea to make the display really sing, and I said, let's do that. Huh? Do... what? You haven't said yet. Oh! Sing in French. The judges are French, right? So they would feel just right at home. Hmm... Is that even possible? Hmm... I think so. At Christmas, the professors bewitch the suits of armor to sing carols, so why not a mannequin? Ah... Oh, it's worth a try. I will add it to the list. Got anything else? Mm-hmm. Go on, it's really quite brilliant. Uh... Oh, all right. If you want something really eye-catching, how about... Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think? <gasps> it's amazing. I have never seen anything like that. <laughs> I told you so. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to show Madame Malkin. Thanks. Hi. Hello, Madame Malkin. <laughs> there you are, and not a moment too soon. The judges for which witch will be arriving tomorrow. Ah, then you will need these. Ah. Ah, yes, yes, how bold. I can see it now. And this last idea, pure genius. Mm -hmm. That was Ivy's idea. In fact, all of these ideas came from my friends. <laughs> oh. Give yourself some credit, dear. You were the one wise enough to ask them for help. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I guess that's true. Oh. Of course it is. And from the looks of it, your friends are quite talented and creative. Witches and wizards. Oh. Well, I just hope these ideas work. I would feel horrible if... Oh, what were their names again? Oh. Dremaine Dreadfowl and Jacqueline de Lamond? Mm-hmm. Right, them. I'd feel awful if they didn't notice your window and pass by your shop. Ah! Oh, my dear, I'm quite sure the new window will do more than attract the judge's attention. <gasps> you really think so? <laughs> I do. Now, let's see about that display, shall we? Wow! It's quite stunning, isn't it? Bold, unexpected, a bit of je ne sais quoi. That's French, dear. <laughs> then I'm sure the witch witch judges will love it. The moral of the story is this. When you find yourself facing tough times, remember to rely on your friends and the support they offer. By working together, you can overcome any obstacle and create wonderful memories along the way. Thank you for watching till the end. If you found this video enjoyable and want to see more voiceover content from me, remember to check the link in the description below. Additionally, for those who don't want to miss out on your favorite series or latest news, you are warmly welcome to join my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. Why? Are my suggestions not being displayed on Madame Malkin's display window? Oh, Cassandra, it must be a misunderstanding. The accessories must be inside the shop, I'm sure. Never ever come to me with your silly questions. Am I clear to you?